What's good guys, this is Unjolly Ranchers, diving into the shadows of life's untamed tales. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys about the first time I dreamed out. Now, this story takes place back in 2018 when my cousin Finn was graduating from high school. It was a Thursday night and I had just started summer break, so I was staying over at Finn's crib because he planned on mobbing out literally right after he graduated. Now, Finn is like an older brother to me, and sadly I haven't seen him in years. He probably moved into the woods living off grid with fucking Bigfoot or some shit. But anyways, it would be our last time hanging out for a long time, so we had to make it special. Now, Finn had a little shed he turned into his little chill pad. It wasn't anything special, but he had a couple posters, a few chairs, and a sound system out there. This building was basically dedicated for the smoke sessions that he'd have to avoid getting caught. That night, my cousin Finn asked me and my other cousin if we wanted to have one last smoke before he left. We'll just call my other cousin Jake for the sake of the story. Now, Jake and I are like the same age, only a month apart, and neither of us had smoked with Finn before. We were fucking hype. So, Finn opens his bedroom window on the second floor and tells us to follow quietly. I don't know what it is with me jumping from the second floor window, there's probably just something wrong with me. But anyways, Finn and Jake crawl onto the roof, then I follow behind them. Finn turns to me and says, Yo, we have to be quiet, so tuck and roll when you land and don't fuck yourself. I cut him off and said, Dude, I've done this more times than you've gotten laid. I've got it. He laughed and told me to shut the hell up. Then he jumped off the roof. Then I jumped. But as Jake jumped, he fucking landed in a wheelbarrow and slammed his face into the corner of the house. Right outside my damn uncle's bedroom. He was fine and just laid there quietly as he heard my uncle get out of bed and look out the window inches above him. Finn and I ran into the backyard and hid in the garden, scared shitless as my uncle opened the window and looked around. Now, Jake didn't get caught. My uncle closed his window, then we all snuck across the property into the shed. Finn turned the lights on, pulled out a can and turned it into a little pipe, then loaded it up, passing it to me and asked, you know what time it is? Uh, time to get fucking zooted. <laughs> No dumbass, it's adventure time. I grabbed the clipper lighter and sparked up this purple kush he'd taken from my uncle. My young lungs couldn't take the smoke and I fucking coughed so hard as he passed it to Jake. Jake ended up throwing up after taking the smallest rip. Luckily dude made it outside in time. Now Finn grabbed the pipe he made, loaded it with half a gram, and took the whole thing, filling his lungs doing little baby coughs while he smiled. Man, I really miss his ass, what a legend. So Finn loaded me the same size and told me, if you can finish this whole rip without coughing, you can have my naked lady playing cards. Determination flooded my face, and once he saw how confident I was, he pulled out a little jar of dabs and threw a huge glob on top. Dude, I was intimidated, but I'd wanted those Playboy cards since we were little kids, so I had to try. I took a huge breath in, then slowly let it out. Repeating this as I put on Lean With Me by Juice World to hype me up, I took one final breath in, then grabbed this can loaded to the point where it was hanging off the sides. I empty my lungs and go for it, finishing half the rip, holding back the pain in my chest so I wouldn't cough, taking small quick breaths in and out to slowly empty the smoke inside my lungs. Then I took another hit, filling my lungs to the brim, and I dropped to the floor as I started losing my vision. So there I was, on the floor, unaware of where I was, who I was, or what was going on. No thoughts through my head, all I could do was look at the floor as my brain cells collected themselves. As I came back to reality, I slowly looked up to my cousin laughing so fucking hard. I laid down on the floor laughing with him and said, pay up motherfucker. <laughs> right after saying this, Jake opened the door super quick trying to scare us like it was their dad and hit me in the damn head with the door. I still probably have brain damage from that shit. Anyways, Finn laughing his ass off said, yeah man, you definitely earned him. This will be my goodbye present to you. That's when I remembered I only had a few hours left with my homie and I wouldn't see him for a really long time. Sad, I got up and gave homie a hug saying, I'ma miss you G, but I'm glad we got to kick it one last time. I've been wanting to smoke with you for a while now. At this point, it was cold as hell in that shed, so we went back up to the window. Finn boosted me up. I crawled inside, then grabbed Jake's hand as Finn boosted him up. Bro, how are you gonna get up though? He told me to go turn off the lights and for Jake to get into his bed and pretend to sleep. So that's what we did. I went back to the window and lowered my arm down for him. Finn then ran up the fucking wall, grabbed my hand, climbed through the window and snuck into his bed and told me to do the same thing. 
So there we all were, playing sleep as my uncle slammed the door open and yelled, What the fuck are you guys doing? Now, my acting skills were on point. Being the guest, I spoke first. I slowly leaned up, looking super tired and asked in a sleepy voice, What's going on? My uncle then just said sorry and slowly closed the door, then went outside to see who the fuck was outside. Finn got up, turned the lights on, and dabbed me up. Way to go, playboy, he bought it. So, we all gather up in a circle, high as fuck just vibing and talking about what Finn had planned. It had been like 10 minutes since I took that rip, and I was losing it. I mean, we had some Juice World playing in the background, and there I was laying on my back, staring at the ceiling, tripping my dick off. Like, I've never been so high in my life. I was to the point where my whole body was tingling, and my audio was tripping. I honestly don't know how to explain it. Finn asked me, are you good bro? I remember just leaning up, looking at him, and putting a thumbs up with a high smile across my face, and then I passed out. The next morning, Finn had his graduation ceremony, then we went back to his house. He packed up his stuff in his homie's car, hopped in, and passed me that pack of cards as he drove away, he yelled. I'll miss you bro, take good care of them. And that my friends, is the first time I greened out. It's kind of a shorter story because I was so high I don't remember a lot of what happened. I'd love to hear about the highest you guys have ever been in the comments and the most you've ever smoked in a 30 minute period. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more crazy life stories. Stay tuned for more on Jolly Tales. Until next time, peace.